Hey guys, T here. Um, I'm trying to organize my shop and get all these tools that you you see out here in, in some kind of uh, situation where I'm not falling all over them or moving them from one place to the other. My idea is to um, build a cabinet right here in this corner space and uh, close it off and put all these tools in there so they're out of the way and easy for me to find. That's most of the problem. So um, if you want to follow me on this journey, uh, that's kind of an interesting one, I think. I hope you will. And um, hey, let's get at it. Here's a tool cabinet I'm uh, building. Um, seven feet tall. Two feet wide, it's got a door on the top and um, an open space in the bottom. So we've cut our uh, two posts on uh, both sides of our cabinet to um, seven feet. We're going to put some uh, mortises in there and uh, we'll mark those now. So we got our marks, and that's where our uh, two mortises will be. That'll be cut out, and that'll be cut out. So here's the result. So this is the inside um, section of our post, and um, I want to I want to cut this down just a little bit to have a little shelf in here, so that the um, uh, two by four that goes in here will be mounted in a in a little um, in a little shelf. So let's So we created a small shelf just to give this um, uh, brace, this cross brace, a little more support. The, um, the two tenons will support pretty good, but I always like to give it a little shelf. So we're going to cut dovetails in our two posts. We're at the bottom end of the post right now, but we're going to cut dovetails here and in the top as well. So 
ってしまうとしたら、どうしたWell, we can't cut this angle on the bandsaw because the table won't move in the reverse direction. So we're going to cut this any way we can. And uh, because it's too long to uh, put upright, so I got to got to work on the angle. Let's uh, let's see how successful this is. <laughs> got before cleanup um, you always have a little a little uh, radius where you cut with the um, uh, coping saw uh, so we'll clean that up and we'll uh, make some adjustments to be closer to our line with the with the chisel This is how we look so far. This is both the bottoms. And here are the tops. So this is what our setup looks like to uh, mark the tails. We've got the post in the vise, and uh, that's uh, plumb. And then we come down to the floor, and we've got a block clamped onto the back to keep the two flush.
So that's my tomb cabinet build. Um, I think it came out pretty good. It uh, uh, did a good job of consolidating a lot of tools. So they're not lying on a bench all the time. They've got a permanent home. Uh, they're out of the dust. Uh, the cabinet doesn't look bad for a uh, kind of shop cabinet either. Now, I still got some space in there and I'm still building some of these guys to hold uh, smaller tools and I'll, I'll stuff them in there. I think I might put some, put some on the doors as well. Um, so please subscribe if you will. Hit the notification uh, bell if you want uh, notification of my newest videos and I'll see you real soon. Thanks for watching.